Hey, what's up everybody? Tech Chucker here and welcome to episode 23 of This Week in Dioramas, season two. Happy Independence Day. Happy 4th of July to those of you who are from the United States. Obviously, the 4th of July is one of our biggest holidays. I love the 4th of July. It's it's such a cool holiday, um, but that's you know, I love I love this country. It's not perfect by any means, but I think this country has been working towards uh, that American dream that everybody can participate in. We've been slowly getting to that point, and that's why one of the many reasons why I like the Fourth of July. Um, so happy 4th of July to all of you who are from the United States. Uh, to the rest of you, um, happy Saturday. Uh, <laughs> and, and welcome to This Week in Dioramas. I want to talk to you guys, though, uh, a little bit about the show. I want to try and change things up a little bit, but I want some feedback from all of you because uh, I don't want to make changes if you guys don't like the changes that are going to be made or if you're like, you know what, I love the show as is. Is, let me know in the comments below do you prefer to see me or would you prefer to not see me during these videos today I'm gonna give you an example of what it means to see me uh, we're gonna go through the showcase and I'm gonna have a little uh, video of me in the upper right hand corner where I'm talking you can see me as I'm talking uh, and we'll see if that interaction is something that you like or hate uh, other things that I'm wondering is uh, what do you think of the time frame uh, meaning I'm trying to keep these around 30 minutes uh, is that something that you prefer do you want them longer I'm I don't really want to go longer than 30 minutes uh, do you prefer it shorter 15 minutes the retention on these videos is anywhere between 8 and 12 minutes of a 30 minute video so it's between the 30 or you know 25 to 35 percent view time so uh, what are your thoughts on that right now I've been usually showcasing between 20 and 30 dioramas. I'm thinking maybe dropping that down a little bit to 20. Uh, that way then it feels a little bit more exclusive and I can I can do that in, it's easier for me to do less dioramas. But what do you guys think? You know, I want to know what what do you think could improve this show? Uh, because you know what, the only reason that the show is here is because of you guys. It's not because of me. It's because of you uh, submitting your dioramas. And if you know, if you don't make it on the episode uh, the week that you submit your diorama, just know that 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 hashtag is still there so that people can see it. And and hopefully all of you are following that hashtag. So that way, then anything that isn't you know showcased, still you can find it because there's a lot of really cool stuff that I don't showcase. And it's not because it's not good. It's solely because I just don't have enough time to be able to showcase every single diorama and you guys are really just, you're throwing a lot of really cool stuff out there each week. Um, I feel bad when I can't showcase everything. So I want some feedback. Throw me some feedback in those comments. What do you like? What do you hate? Do you, <laughs> do you hate me? Do you want a different host? Oh, please don't say that. But if that's something that you're like, you know what? I love the idea of the show, but Matt, you're annoying. I want to know that. Is there something that I do that's annoying? Gotta know, because if I don't always know. Sometimes I use the same words over and over again. Maybe you hate my jokes. I'm not going to stop doing the stupid jokes. We're just going to be honest here. I'm not going to stop the stupid jokes. In fact, if you tell me not to do the stupid jokes, I'm probably going to do more stupid jokes just because. But. I want some feedback. I want to know, does the show feel like it's getting stale to you? I feel like maybe it's getting a little stale, um, but maybe that's just because I'm the one making the show and so each week I have kind of a formula of what I do. So let me know in the comments, go hog wild if, if you have um, comments that you're not comfortable with uh, expressing because I'll know who you are. Um, if there's enough of that, maybe I'll do an anonymous 
uh, survey. But as of right now, I I'm guessing most people are just gonna be fine with posting it in the comments. Um, so have at it, constructive, destructive criticism, uh, just straight up ripping on me, that's totally fine. I can take it, I got thick skin. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to hear what you're thinking. Alrighty, we are just about ready to get started with the showcase, but before we do that, we do need to reveal the winner of last week's fan vote. And your winner is the It To Dio by Drip-O-Rama. Congratulations, you will now be entered into the Grand Championship vote coming at the end of this year. And I wanna make a note, I'm hoping to try and spice that up a little bit and as of right now I'm I'm taking into consideration an idea of doing something like a bracket sort of uh, vote where it's actually multiple stages or multiple uh, uh, rounds of voting and I might I, I'm really like strongly considering using a uh, rating based off of how many votes the winner gets from each week so take that into consideration if you make it into the top five and you'd really like to be able to you know win that grand championship at the end of the year getting as many of your friends and family to vote might increase your seed range or seed level in that bracket if we actually do that so Take that into consideration when you're sharing this with friends and family if you are in that top five, because perhaps the top, you know, four or five, maybe they'll get a buy for the first round. Huh? That might be something that you could do. Um, so that's another one of those ideas that I'm hoping to try and spice things up a little bit. Um, so take that into consideration. But again, congratulations, Drip-O-Rama on last week's fan vote win. Let's go ahead and get started with the show. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this showcase started. Uh, like I said at the beginning, give me some feedback in the comments. What do you think of having me uh, up in the corner talking to you? Do you like seeing that? Or would you rather just go back to the way that it was? Am I distracting, whatever. I'm gonna do my best to not have to do very many cuts, so it may or may not have quite the same flow as usual, but let me know what you think. Let's jump right on into it with this first one. Uh, coming from America Mala, uh, this one is really cool. I actually thought that it was uh, a real picture of something out in the wild at a first glance. Uh, the lighting is perfect on here to be able to see all of the details. Love all of the plants that you've got on here. That looks awesome. Uh, this looks to be like 1 7th, 1 8th scale. Uh, slightly out of uh, the normal scale that we usually see but I really dig it. I did not know what this thing was and I'm really glad that you let us know. It's a British mailbox. Ours in the States are blue and kind of boxy. So it's fun to see uh, different pieces from around the world. This bus stop piece is looking awesome. I love the glass. And uh, in another picture, we're gonna see, it looks like there's some really cool detail on the glass. Let's go ahead and go here. You can see it looks like it's weathered. Almost like, you know, this thing's been outside for ages. It's got grime and whatnot on there. I love Love that signage is looking really good very tight with that looks nicely weathered uh, everything on this is looking awesome so I'm really glad to be able to share something like this it's very unique uh, and I think you did a great job on it this one's coming from art by cremated plastic he's been having some issues with Instagram uh, and keeps getting his accounts locked out or closed deleted uh, so this is a new account again and this thing is a New York City style kind of bodega uh, building uh, but it's Pokemon it's a Pokemon Center and this thing is really cool very tight I think you did a great job the bricks are looking amazing you did a great job with that i really dig all the details that you've got on here would love to see some more pictures uh, because this thing has so many cool little details everything it just looks real uh, if you haven't already i just did follow him make sure that you give him a follow he's trying to build that follower uh, base back up so go give him a follow and a like because he does some really really cool work 
All right, let's see. Next, coming from Diorama Boy, does a lot of great work. Again, this one's a uh, 1 12th scale, it's a strip club. <sighs> This thing is cool looking. I love it. The details that you've got throughout this piece are awesome. I love the little neon light that you've got kind of ringing around the door uh, to give that, uh, I don't know, it just kind of gives it that that red light district even though it's a, a blue light here. It gives it that feel. There's a lot of cool props. You're always really, really good at doing the props and I really appreciate that. Uh, all of the little posters and whatnot that you've got on the walls also. Everything just fits together. It looks like it it belongs there. The weathering that you do within the paint is always very, very nicely done. I like that you mix the two different types of brick or uh, uh, you've got the cinder block and then the brick here. That also looks awesome. Look at that, with the lights off, that is looking very, very good. So great job as always to Diorama Boy. Uh, looking forward to see some more from you. This one's coming from Mezco Collector UK, and I'm very impressed with it. I would love to have seen a few more pictures, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is, what do we got? What year is this? Snick. We've got uh, Logan back there, old man Logan, and Cable, obviously Cable just uh, uh, just showed up. It needs to know what time of year it is. And this thing is looking really cool. Lots of great details. Details? Details. Details. We'll go with details since that's a real word. Uh, lots of great details on here. I love all the little graffiti pieces that you've done on here. That looks really good. The paintwork on here also is looking very, very nice. Uh, you did a great job weathering it all. I like this sign that looks awesome, especially with the detail that you've weathered into that as well. So very, very nicely done. All right, this one's coming from DJS Dioramas Attention. Need a diorama for your John Wick? Maybe Punisher. This is your diorama. Here is a custom shooting range made by, I don't know why I'm reading like that. Why am I reading like that? It's like I'm doing some weird commercial. Uh, anyway, it's two feet long. Two feet, 24 inches uh, by 13 inches wide by 12 inches tall. It is large and this thing is really cool. What do we got? Everything is included except for the figures and weapons. Price $250 shipped, so hit them up if you are interested in this. Uh, we've got a shooting range here and then we've got kind of a workbench area over here. Uh, this is really, really nicely done. Very clean. Love all the lights on here. That is awesome. Some nice brickwork. Again, another one of those where you've got two different types of brick you've got the cinder block over here and then we've got regular brick and then you threw in a little bit of uh, poured concrete here which is awesome it adds to all of the detail on here uh, and this is gonna be a great display both for pictures but also if you are gonna you know you're gonna throw this up on your your shelf and be able to uh, display this with all of your really cool action figures this is an awesome piece look at that little glass dividing piece that is awesome you you got another one down here for in the shooting range and you even have the little shelves to be able to put your ammo, your magazines, your uh, gun after you have uh, taken your couple of shots. All those cool details just add to it which is super cool. So great job on a really nice looking piece. Alrighty, this next one's coming from Hepburnicus. Uh, what do we got here? Today I worked on the base layout, which is a scrap of Merbau. Merbau from my deck construction. The road base is a used signboard from a movie I worked on. Okay, etc. etc. Um, this thing looks really cool. I like the lighting that you've got on this particular picture. It gives it uh, kind of that realism, which is really cool. Uh, the scale that that uh, they work in is fairly small. I can't remember if this is matchbox size or maybe a little bit larger, uh, but everything that you do is always so detailed. It's so well done. Just look at the brick on here and then the little bit of greenery that you've got growing on there. That is awesome looking. Uh, it's just so detailed and I know that you're painting up all of these little vehicles. The weathering is amazingly done. You really do a great job uh, and it's really hard at such a small scale to be able to get that uh, realism and you really are nailing it. So awesome job. Always love it when I can see uh, another one of your pieces. So great job. 
This one is coming from Road Trip Attic, and I, at a first glance, I thought this was a real building. You guys are really doing a great job with the realism on your work. I absolutely dig it so much. Uh, this is kind of like a, uh, what? what is this? It's like, um, what kind of house is this? Installed blinds and curtains, etc., etc. It's some sort of house. I don't know what it, it is, but it, it's got that kind of colonial look with the with the columns. Uh, very, very well done. What I really want to focus on is the brick for this patio. This is so well done, and it looks so realistic. Uh, just your work is always so detailed, and it's so cool to see. Uh, so can't wait to see some more work from you. Uh, obviously, more pictures. He's got some in the uh, in his profile, so go check him out if you haven't already. This one is coming from Lobo DK2. I think I got that right. Uh, Deco Videl Recovery. I don't know what that is. I, I'm. It's. I don't know if this is like uh, Dragon Ball Z. It looks like some sort of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, but I love the cleanliness of this piece. It is so cool. The little base that you've got here, very cleanly painted. If you painted that, or if you found one that's white, uh, this little floor piece. Obviously, that looks awesome. It looks like it's some sort of like hospital floor. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it looks super cool. The bed awesome looks so authentic authentic you know what last week i used that word a lot i got sick of it i just used it now not happy with that anyway this thing looks really cool let's go ahead and see as they spin it around here to see all the angles you got the little uh um iv bag here that is super cool it's not a huge piece by any means but uh the cleanliness is really what drew my eye to it it's very you know there's not extra stuff and you don't need that extra stuff it really just um it's just a great display this one is coming from Lily Dior, uh, and this thing is super cool. It, another one of those pieces, it's just got that class feel. It feels very, very classy and, and uh, kind of feels very high end to me. Uh, and what I really am so impressed with is this slice of cake. It looks it looks good. It looks like I, you know, you could take a bite out of it. It looks really good. Uh, a very, very unique, fun display piece uh, to be able to have. I'm not sure what this lady is. Uh, what I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't follow the, whatever this is from. But it is really cool. I'm not sure if you made this or if you bought this and then made the. I assume, obviously, made the base. And the base is what I am most impressed with because it just looks so cool. The chocolate, how did you get that look? It looks so smooth and, and like it's actually melted chocolate. I don't know. It just looks really cool. Uh, very, very fun. Very unique. So thank you very much for submitting just a really cool piece. This one's coming from Freda two, uh, Freda 0204. And uh, this is, I'm trying to figure out, uh, oftentimes he just makes stuff from his mind it's not like he's doing any uh, titles or anything like that or characters it did remind me of Harry Potter for some reason the um, the snake at the zoo um, but obviously we've got a serpent of some sort the diorama background looks awesome your brickwork looks great the paintwork is super cool um, you just did a really nice job and check this out here's the behind the scenes that looks very impressive. All sorts of cool bits and bobs and whatnot to be able to make this scene uh, look the way that it looks. So great job on another really awesome looking diorama. Alrighty, here is a really cool diorama coming from Nickel Family Farms. Uh, again, you take these pictures in such a way that they look so real. It, it really looks like we're out uh, on some highway somewhere, passing an RV, and it just looks so realistic aside from the giant cup here in the middle. You take that cup out of the picture and you wouldn't know that this wasn't real until you really start inspecting. And the only thing that, that gives it away beyond this then is this little truck. The little truck, if you look close, yeah, it, it you can see that it kind of looks like uh, like a Matchbox car of some sort. But the rest of this thing, I mean, these rocks are painted so well that it really just looks like actual stones uh, that, uh, I mean, it just looks like an outcropping of stones. It's ridiculously 
detailed it's amazing and then your trees also they really look real it is absolutely mind-boggling and at this size 164th scale that is crazy so great job as always uh, just yeah, wow keep it up all right next up is coming from graves dioramas newest one off the bench just got to finish your detail work uh, so it is a work in progress but it already is looking very, very nice. I think you did a great job with the brick, very clean. You damaged it up enough to make it look you know, real. I like that, that looks great. Your door is also looking awesome. So I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with your weathering and, and uh, more details because it's already turning out very, very nice. So make sure that you tag it uh, so people can see it when it's done that is this one's coming from joe dios uh and it looks like he took a some sort of like dollhouse and um repainted it got it for 10 bucks uh changed it to um this down here and this is pretty awesome i think you did a great job he's gonna finish off the interior that hasn't been done quite yet let's scroll through a few of these actually let's play this video look at all the all the moss on there that is really impressive looking I mean, to go from what you had, throw those little logs in there, this is really well done. The paintwork on here is awesome. You did a great job with that. Oh my goodness. And then, okay, so I recognize this. That house goes right alongside this other diorama. I think we showcased that a week or two or three ago. Um, I'm really impressed with that roof. That roof really looks good. Uh, can't wait to see what you're gonna do with the inside um, because obviously, the outside is looking awesome. So uh, make sure that you tag it, hashtag this week in dioramas when you're done so that we can see that interior. It looks like we got some work done in there, but not quite yet. So awesome. All right, this next one is coming from Tom's Dioramas and he does really good uh, weathering paint work. And he took this uh, Marvel Legends Logan bike and, and repainted it, gave it a little bit more weathering and what have you. And this thing looks really good. I love the rust that you've got on the tailpipes uh, and you've weathered it throughout and it looks really good. He's got another one on his uh, profile. Uh, I can't remember which bike it might have been the ghost rider one that he did as well so go check him out uh to see some more of the work that he did but just check this out that looks really nice check this out i like this little piece of tape that you added to the to the uh the saddle here that looks awesome and then the weathering on here also looks really good you you really did a great job with this it really adds to the look of this motorcycle and you know hasbro is not great with their paint but they gave us a great base and you really took it to the next level. So awesome job. This one's coming from Wakas Bazaar. Uh, I, this one made me laugh. Um, you do some of these crossovers and I really like that. And you're crossing over obviously Mandalorian and John Wick. Uh, and it, I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I think we've seen this diorama before. It looks really good. You did a great job with the paintwork. You can just see the details throughout that you've painted in with the weathering and the props are looking awesome as well. Everything is put together so well. And then the picture, you framed it perfectly. It's composed so well and the light is great I just really dig this let's go ahead and go to the next picture and here is a behind the scenes little video clip check that out look at all the little dirt detail that you got in there that's awesome this is fun so awesome love seeing these behind the scenes uh, especially if you're doing really cool pictures like this these little behind the scenes videos are super fun so keep it up this one's coming from Seething Customs. What do we got? Pillar props that you made, uh, 112 scale, and great background props for dioramas or just any sort. Uh, yes, uh, and I think I remember you made these probably out of cardboard. You pulled one uh, one of the backers off so that you have the corrugated and then you wrap it around something. Uh, and that really does a great job of making these old Greek style pillars and these look really good the brickwork or i guess the stonework looks awesome i like the little ruins that you've kind of uh, ruins are they ruins um, whatever these little letters things are, are carved in that looks awesome. Little bits of green here and there, which is awesome. Uh, even adding some vineage, vineage, vineage. Yeah, 
I like that word, vineage. Uh, throwing some vines in here and, and what have you also is going to really add to this piece. Uh, you just did a very, very nice job. Um, yeah, there's, there's not a lot else to say. I mean, it's it just, you did a great job. Next, coming from Nimai EJ8, let's go ahead and play this video. Let's see what we got in here. It looks like it's made for Mythic Legions probably and could be for sale. So hit them up if you are interested in this. It sounds like he's a little bit on the fence if he's going to sell this or not. So if this is something that you're looking for, hit him up in the DMs and maybe you can make out a deal with him uh, to be able to get this in your house. I really like the colors that you've got in here. Uh, it's not just a standard gray. You, you're you're kind of exploring with these colors with the blues and it really works. I'm not sure what color blue this is. I would love to know because it, it kind of has that little iridescent sheen when you change angles, which I like that it at least with the lighting that you've got in here it really works and I like it a lot and this little impact crater you did a great job with that um yeah I just the one thing that I would say and I, I don't like giving recommendations but we're trying different things in these videos um, the one thing with your cracks is I would almost say um, they're all kind of spreading out in the same direction you might have some of them kind of spider web a little bit so that way then um, it, it doesn't um, look like it was just man-made is what I'm what I'm getting at uh, I do still like it very much so don't take it as like I'm criticizing I'm just saying with cracks oftentimes they don't have that uniform parallel look uh, and so you might add that in a little bit now everybody has their own style of course so um, take what I say with a grain of salt grain of sand a grain of something a grain of grain no all right anyway I really like this piece. I especially, like I said, love that paint job. Next is coming from, oh, I always have a problem saying this. Less miss, um, I don't know, it's a Dragon Ball Z piece. This looks really cool. The, um, the base is so well done. It's got such detail on it for such a small little display. Uh, I'm guessing these little um, smoke fog pieces maybe came with these figures or statues or whatever they are um, but you've incorporated all this into a really cool looking diorama piece that uh, it just is a great way to be able to display these guys it looks so good I'm guessing this little camera I think uh, you must have painted that up because I don't know of any vendors that uh, can do this kind of paint job on a piece so really really well done really digging on all the detail uh, so great job and uh, wait before we go um, it looks like this must that must have been created by this uh, user on Instagram is my guess so awesome love it this one's coming from tots action figures custom dio it's not giving me all of it it's either dio or dioramas um i apologize uh so what do we got here no time for love took the same shot but different position of the lights i must have missed the other shot uh, obviously we've got hellboy here uh, a couple of little brick walls that are all damaged and nasty looking very very cool i like the little tufts of smoke that you've got uh strewn throughout so getting just the right lighting you're gonna be able to really give that ambiance of uh, you know a night scene where uh, Hellboy is I don't recall what this thing is it's a skull of some sort but anyway never mind me never mind me um, I should have gotten that figure I should have gotten that because what that's the um, oh I forget what company that's from anyway we're supposed to be talking about dioramas anyway I'm really digging on this piece it's great for versatility to be able to have different angles that you can take these shots with so very nicely done this one's coming from Lord of Thane Lord of Thane I'm not sure uh, suspicious minds on Coruscant level uh, 1973 so that's a Star Wars diorama uh, you submitted a lot of uh, pictures to this week in dioramas uh, some of them were really cool kind of ACBA style pictures but I couldn't really see the diorama so I picked this one because uh, we could see more of the detail from your diorama and this thing looks really cool there's a lot of details throughout this I mean it, it looks like there's a whole hall 
wall or, or street or alley or something that keeps going down here, which is really cool to be able to have all these sorts of things together. Uh, lots of props and, and lights and whatnot, which is super cool. Uh, so yeah, just when you're posting, would love to be able to see more of the diorama so that we can we can kind of see your paint job and, and all that sort of stuff. But really, really cool. And I really appreciate you posting to the hashtag. Last but not least, coming from Kraken's Customs, this is a, what do we say, a part work, a part work, part first night off, I have no idea what I'm reading here, um, Doom Portal Diorama to how's your custom Doom Slayer, okay, okay. Sometimes I have a hard time reading and we're not cutting stuff, so um, I really like this piece. I like this little archway and then the little, I don't know what these are, they're like little, they look like daggers. Um, I would not want to walk through this. I would not trust that those aren't going to just come and stab into me. And I, I don't like getting stabbed. I don't know about you guys, but um, I'm anti being stabbed. Uh, I mean, this thing looks really cool. I like the little bits of blood stain that you've got throughout the stonework. The paint looks very, very nice. I'm uh, not sure what these little engravings are. But I am really digging it. Maybe we'll get a closer shot. Ooh, look at that. That skull looks awesome. There's a lot of really good detail on here. Okay. Oh, that looks awesome. I really like those details. They're subtle. But man, you, you really did a nice job with this. This is going to be great for a display piece. Here's a little work in progress before you got the paint on here. Very, very nicely done. I really like it. Alrighty, we are at the end of another showcase, but we're not quite done yet. We need to reveal my top five and you'll get your chance to vote for your favorite on the community tab on my channel after you're done watching the show. And my top five are the Shooting Range Dio by DJS Dioramas, the Cable Logan Dio by Mezco Collector UK, the Bus Stop Dio by Amer Kamala, the Pokey Center Dio by Art by Cremated Plastic, and the Strip Club Dio by Diorama Boy. Again, make sure you go to the community tab on my channel after you're done watching the show and vote for your favorite, and I will reveal the winner next week. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification. Leave your comments below. Feedback is welcome and invited. And more importantly, share this video out, get the word out about the show, and I will see you next week.